its resources, okay? So you can reach that goal, but very efficiently, not spending lavishly so you can reach the goal. Okay, that's called efficiently. And the next E is effectively. It means that you have strategies to be able to reach that goal, right? You have strategies, you have plans on how you can reach the goal, but you have to make sure that this will work. That's called effective, okay? And if it doesn't work, then you have to do something about it. It's either you're going to change your strategy, look for mistakes, and then go back to the beginning. Okay? So management is the process of working with your colleagues, using your resources, okay, to be able to reach your goals efficiently and effectively. So we were able to do the uh, first definition that is to define management, but please do not forget these two is that I have said. When you say efficient, and you're going to save your time, cost, and effort. So you're going to make the most of your output from the least amount of inputs. What are the inputs here? Ano yung mga input? What are the inputs that we're talking about? We're talking about your time, cost, and effort. Okay? So when you say efficient or efficiency, you're going to get things done by giving the least amount of all your resources, your inputs. Okay, so take note of that. And when you say effective or effectiveness, you're going to do the right thing, the do, doing the, the right strategy. Okay, these are the actions that you do to achieve your goal. Okay, what else? These are the actions that you do that is related to the goal so you can get the goals that you have uh, presented during your meeting, like for example. And uh, decision making has to be correct. It means that your decision has to be correct so that you could get your goal. And when it's happened, then you can reach your goal in an effective manner. Okay, so the person behind this management concept is Henry Fayol or Silent Ace. You can say Henry Fayol or Henry Fayol. Okay, so anyway, Henry Fayol is the, the CEO of a large mining company in France, okay? He had formulated the concept of management, and according to him, okay, according to him, you, you as a person in an organization, okay, it means that the managers, you know, the managers that are working in the organization, you can be more effective as a manager if you go through a formal training, okay, um, because on that time, uh, in the period of industrialization, when he was uh, working as a CEO, um, there are many managers who have not uh, taken any course about management. They don't know what is management. They don't know how to plan. They don't know how to organize. They don't know how to lead. Okay, they don't know how to control the problems. So, according to Henry Fayol, these managers could work more effectively if they have a formal training, like the one you're having right now. Okay, so therefore. He had formulated the management functions, okay? What are these management functions? We have here planning, okay? And then you have your organizing, leading, and controlling. So that to make it short, you can just say POLCA. So there's an acronym there so you can easily remember. Okay, take note that if you're going to go and search and dive in over the internet, they'll give you maybe six, seven functions of management. But for the sake of discussion and to make it more efficient, we'll just take up these four management functions, okay? So we have planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Okay, moving on. Let's start first with planning. So when you say planning, what do you do? Okay, you're going plan okay that's why it's called planning okay you're going to set your objectives you're going to identify what are the goals okay now take note that in planning guys it's not only you're gonna write your goals and identify your goals the most important part of planning function of a manager is that you're going to also identify the courses of action what are the things you're going to do to reach the goal? So it's not just planning. For example, okay, let's plan to have picnic next week, okay? Stuff, picnic for everybody, and then you're not doing anything to reach the goal. Of course, you have to assign somebody to prepare for the food. You're going to assign somebody to prepare for the transportation. So now you have identified your goal at the same 